Hello, I am Cat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a, it's a different type of video. Um, I'm just going to go through what I've been doing pretty recently in my Bibles this past few months. So in 2022, um, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to pretend you're sitting here at my desk and I'm walking you through my Bibles, what I've been doing, why I've been drawn to these certain Bibles. And I also, because I know many, many of you enjoy pens, okay? I know you've seen the title. I'm going to call it Bibles and Pens, Pens and Bibles. I don't know which one yet. <laughs> but um, a lot of you are lovers of pens. So I, before I get into my Bibles, I'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. One of my sweet, amazing sisters and subscribers here on my channel has sent me a box of a lot of posty notes. Um, I know there's a few of you that like posty notes, but that's not really what you're, you know, you want to look at, just packs of posty notes. So thank you, thank you so much to my sweet subscriber, Sister Spring, for sending me the huge box. And she's from Hawaii too, um, of posty notes, but pins. So I figured you all would not mind looking and checking out the bag of pins. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, that's what I was like. All right, there's a lot to share here. There's other things I want to get to. So I'll just go ahead and share the pins that she um, had blessed me with, literally blessed me with. You guys, this is easily $200 worth of pins maybe 200 plus dollars worth of pins. So I'm going to go through my cases that I have here. I have two here and another big one in the living room. I'm going to go through them and I'm going to do the same thing that she did. Just get rid of what I'm not using and I'm going to bless it, bless them to somebody else. So pay it forward. You all, this is what this is community is all about. So Thank you, thank you so much, my sweet sister Spring, for doing this. Oh, I love you to pieces. So, um, and I was going to do like a, you know, test out video, but I don't know if a lot of people would want to see that. So I'm just going to share what, what I have here, what colors and um, the type of pins and stuff. So these ones are the Bic Intensities. I recently found these. Um, I found the Thin Lines. A couple of years ago, I had the thicker ones, so let me show you, like 2018, maybe even 19. I did find the bigger ones, but they're literally the thicker. They don't say ultra thin. I think they're, no, they're the same size, but the tips are bigger. So let me find right here. There we go. They will say fine on it. That's the one that you want for your Bibles and journals and stuff like that because the tinier the nib, the less ink that comes out. Oh, oh, it kind of looked like that was going to fall back. <laughs> Ooh, focus. But okay, so she got these big intensity pins and there's a lot of color. There's like these nature colors. So they have like the hunter green, the taupe color, the black, the brown. Then they have the bright, vibrant colors too. So I love that array of colors. So we got those and they are like a marker tip. So they're felt tip pins, please stay put. And then I've never even heard of these. So this is why I'm sharing these because maybe you all haven't heard of them either. I don't know where to get any of them. So just maybe Google the name and the stuff will pop up. So these are called detail doodlers. And they have, I like the quality of this. I like the way this angle, like this triangle, it just it just fits perfectly in your hand. And then the tip is super, super tiny too. So love, 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 love that. I just like, I don't know, it's real classy looking. But again, never heard of them. So those were some little marker tips. I like when I'm introduced to new pins that I don't know but of course I love getting pins that I already use and love this is like a huge 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 blessing you all you have no idea I mean for my pin lovers out there you would know 
All right, so this one right here, I do believe you can get this Pin Gear name brand from Walmart. I know they sell it there. I don't know if it's like a brand just for them or not. But I know you can get there because I got their highlighters from, I'm trying to separate. There's two different ones here. Okay, so they have these pin gear. And as you can tell, it says ultra thin. Again, some more marker tips. Now these ones, they, um, they're kind of like the Ink Joys. So the Paper Mate flares, they're kind of like similar to the style of their containers like look at that so they're mimicking the ink joys and or the paper mate um paper mate flares there you go paper mate flares that's what i'm trying to say so that's what they're mimicking so they're probably a little bit cheaper too i don't know for sure but these days when it comes to any pens they're basically the same prices all right so these ones are some more ink marker felt tip ones again mimicking the same paper mate flares but they have a more of a round like a round base not kind of like a uh, how these ones are smaller at the bottom and then build grow up i don't know what to say there we go i'll just put it side by side so you can see they're like at the same and they have a marker again with the marker tip and these ones are called Scribble Stuff. So let me get a dark color here. Probably show better. There we go. Scribble Stuff. Oh, it had it perfectly. And then the colors. Oh, I like that peach color. Very, very, very beautiful. Oh, that orange and blue spring colors. These bright colors are just calling to me because I am so ready for spring, you all. You have no idea. We had one day of 70 degree weather, which I made my last video telling you guys all about it. The very next day, it was rainy, cold. We went right back down to 40 degrees. That's Ohio. If you all live in Ohio, many of you know. Okay, go. Is there any more felt tips? These ones are kind of. So these ones, I recently was put onto these from another subscriber. They sent me a couple of them, and I never knew the name of them. So I guess they're truly or something like that. Um, I, I don't know where to find them. I'm guessing any office supply store. I shop at uh, Walmart. Walmart is typically where I get my pins from, and I've never seen these. So I'm guessing office supply stores will carry these. And they have... I'm not for sure what these lines are. Maybe it's just the style of pen, you know, just to give it a a classy or sleek look. But they are fine liners. And I think they're all fine liners. Yeah, fine liners. Oh, okay, so no, there are, I knew there was a difference between them. So there are some medium ones. So they have like the thicker and then there's ultra fine. So there were two different kinds. Now I do have a lot of the ultra thin colors in my pin bag right now so I picked out my favorite colors I will share that with you all too but these really have like the straight marker tip that was a thicker one and then here is the ultra thin look how look at the difference on that that is a significant difference that's why I always say get the tiny tiny nibs you all like you can't even see it there it is versus that because the tiny nibs um, sometimes I can't even use these in the Bibles because they're still too thick for the Bibles but you know for journals and stuff like that okay so I do have my favorite colors in my pen bag right now so those are all my felt tip these ones are super super beautiful these are called the creative Ex expert I think but look at they're like straight neon colors look at these colors let me bring you down a little bit there we go they're like look at this orange like that's blinding so they're like highlighter colors so i would like to try these in my bibles as a underline highlight so instead of using a, a high like an actual highlighter to underline using these pens actually you know what 
let's go ahead and do this right now. So let's get back here on a tester page. I don't think I have a tester page. I don't have a tester page in this one yet. I have a tester page on this one. There we go. So let's get in the back of our Bibles. Pull out this highlighter color. All right. Oh, that is beautiful. Are you serious? And that's, it is kind of the dots. So there are dots that will soak into your pen. So it is kind of wet. Um, so either do like I just did, dab it. Don't rub it, because if you rub it, you will smear it. Just push on and lift straight up. So get off as much wetness as you can. Let me get you in for a closer look. It is a highlighter color, so I will not be writing with it. It is very, very wet. See? But for the underline, like I was talking about, woo, that's so beautiful. And that's just the orange. Let's come back here. Yes! Look, you can't even tell. You, now, if I did not take off the excess from that piling of ink, like all this, if I left this on the paper, it may have slipped or seeped through. So let me go ahead and leave it there. We're going to show you. Because whenever the pens do that, and a lot of the time at the end, so wherever you stop, you'll get these pools of ink. When you allow that to sit there, it goes straight through the pen, the Bible, the paper. So let's just let it sit there for a minute so I can show you, and then we'll see what it does. So these, again, are called the Creative Expert. Those are a lot of poor, pretty, pretty colors. So... I will be putting these in my pen bag because I can highlight or underline. Oh, I could circle and underline. There'd be bright, vibrant colors. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, my, 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 my. I cannot wait. Oh, it did good. Like, you could still kind of, kind of see it just a little bit, but not really. There's, like, not anything. There's like just a little bit. And again, it's show through, but there's no bleed through. Even with letting it sit there and soak up the ink, it still did good. Yeah, just a couple of seconds, you all. Wow. <laughs> that is exciting. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sister. All right. So those are some cool pins, you guys. Go grab them. Check them out. Again, I'll, I'll come back and show you how I'm using them. I already told you. I'm going to underline and just circle, like, important words. Making them arrows. Ooh, so making these arrows in our Bibles right here with those pins. And then using that black color to make it really pop off the page. Ooh, delightly. I can't wait. Okay. So we got those. These are the Uni Signals. Signals. Now these are typically sold everywhere. I've seen them at Myers, at um, Walmart. So I've seen these everywhere, online too. So there's a, there's two different packs. We have these design packs here, and then these colored these colored packs. I do have some up in my case right now. I do love these. Um, they're kind of more of a medium fill, so I can't, I think they are. Always, 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 whenever you're curious about a pen, create a tester page in the back of your Bible. And just because they work in one Bible, they may not work in a different Bible. So always test them out in whatever Bible you get. Okay. And then these I recently fell in love with. These are too thick for my Bibles. The ink is really, really, really thick. But these pin, the color that you see the pin is the color that it writes. And they're really dark, really smooth writing. There's no kind of skipping. And they came straight out of, like, the, the post office, which is pretty cold here. It's still 40 degrees, like I said. And just coming right out of the box and onto paper, I had to heat up a couple of colors, like the green and the orange. But... Uh, just a lot of them whenever your pen does that whenever your pen starts to like skip and act like it doesn't want to write 
just heat it up make a couple of circles um, maybe even possibly roll it around in your hand like this heat up that ink get that ink moving and 99% of the time your pen will start working just don't throw it away my sister used to throw her pins away as soon as it did that. I'm like, why are you throwing that pin away? It's perfectly good. Just heat up the ink. <laughs> so, there's another tip for you all. Oh, and these ones. Sorry, I didn't even share what these ones were. They are called the Bic. There we go. Gel, Gel City. And they're 07s. So, yeah, anything 07 and up. Typically anything 0... Oh, yeah, 07. 07 and up I don't ever use in my Bibles all right and then these ones are the pilot g2s I love my g2 pins I don't know what this brand or not brand I know what the brand is but what the style is because they're not like the typical g2s I don't know why they're white I don't know if it's just something different that they did like if it's a limited edition type deal I'm not for sure why they're white they're beautiful they all write the same color, so if you see the blue, it's going to write blue, pink, and purple, with green. They're all write their same color, but they have the white color tips, which is pretty. Because normally, this is the other pack of G2s that she sent me, and these are the O7s. Look at this huge, huge, huge pack. Huge. So, she's a huge fan, like myself, of the Pilot G2s. And then she had some of these neon colors. There's neon orange, yellow, and pink of this color. I think it may be a blue. It literally, just like that other pen that you've seen, it writes neon, a neon color. But these ones are the 07s, so I don't know if it will be able to be used in the Bibles. Typically, any 07s, they don't, but a highlighter, I don't know. I could check. We can check right now. I know a lot of you may be curious, so let's go ahead and check. But yeah, so she sent me all these different colors, dark colors, bright colors. Um, I have some muted colors, like this blue. This is a different color. I've never even seen that kind of yellow. Um, a lot of the teal. There's a lot of these color teal blues. Love that color. And she did send a lot of 07s. There are some 010s in here. Look at this 100 green. Ooh. So, so many, so many beautiful colors, you all. And like I said, with all these pins, easily, easily $200 plus. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing how you all are just... You do so much to help this channel. I, I can't thank you enough. All right. Oh, and a lot of them haven't even been used. Look at that. They still have the little, neither this one. They haven't even been used. All right. So let me see if I, I don't want to crack them open until I'm going to use it. So do I have those colors? Yes. Okay. So let me show you real quick before I test them out. I'll put these back in there. These are the G2s that I put in my pen bag right now. These are the colors I want to use. Put that over there. So I got those neon colors. Um, these lighter, brighter colors than the more dull and, you know, everyday colors. These are all the 07s. And then I cut, for my journals and planners, the 010s over here. And then this is like my everyday. I've had this one since 2013. And it's a Pilot G2. So yeah, those are the ones I have. So let's test out this yellow and this pink color. I figured I'll just make a video sitting down in the kitchen and I'll just act like your skies are sitting here and we're talking about pins and Bibles. It's a beautiful color. Just look at those colors. Okay, there's the pink. That yellow, I definitely may be able to use that yellow. Just in case there may be too many words. Let me put it over here too. Alright, and I, I didn't go too fast. I went pretty slow because I don't know how fast some of you will underline or, or something. There it is. 
So there is kind of show through of the pink a little bit. There's no show through of the yellow. And there's the other lines over here. So there is no bleed through. That is impressive for being it's 07. So it is a thicker, a thicker color. So let's say we're going to under or circle. You seen that? I did that a couple of times. And the circle, there it is. So highlighting with the yellow, marking, circling, even a couple of times with the 07, it does not go through the page. So not saying I can do that and use these pins with all of my Bibles, but with this one, yeah, I can't. All right, so these will go back in my bag. So, oh yeah, these these are more. These are more of the same. They're Pilot G2s. And these are just like more of the darker colors. Oh no, this is just how she packed it. She just packed um, packed it like that. So, yeah, they're all, all Pilot G2s. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, sister. And again, for the lot of posting notes you sent me, um, this minute, this video is already 20 minutes long. So, um, I don't know if I want to go ahead and share what I've been doing or just create another video. Because I did say Bible and pins is what this is going to be called. So, that's, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and share. And I'll take it for as long as, as long as this video will allow it. <laughs> I have certain storage on my um, my little phone here, so whenever the storage goes up, that's I, I never know. I never know how long. But okay, so let's go ahead and show. I did share what I've been using so far. A lot this year um, has been these Bibles. These are the Bibles and my Skylar little Quintel which I have it in the box right now. Um, let me pause this so I'm not going to waste any more time. Hold on one second. Okay, so this is typically, I may have one or two Bibles um, that I just don't have right here on hand or that I'm remembering about, but these are have basically, since the beginning of, of the year, have been what I've been drawn to and what I've been using. If you can tell, let me pulling you back a little bit. They're all personal size except for the last bottom two. They're all personal size. I like the smaller personal size Bibles. I like how they fill in my hands. I do have smaller hands, so that may be why. And I love being able to take whatever Bible I'm using at the time on the go. So if my daily reader, I want it to go with me wherever I go. So that that's I think that's why I'm mostly drawn to this size of a Bible even if they're bigger like I, I like I, I'll take them with me like I, I just I like doing that this Thompson chain right now is the biggest one that I have and this was the Bible that I said I'm going to be using the only Bible I really wanted to focus on and to put all my notes and all my highlights in but I just I didn't do it other Bibles called to me and um, you've seen all of this stuff this is something new that I've put I still have to come back put down my prayer just little things right here a prayer a scripture that really touched me from Genesis and then what I'm grateful for um, this is just something a little a little insight over what I'm reading and then the book of Exodus I'm only picking out certain verses that I feel that really stand out to me you could tell I was only highlighting or underlining there were very rarely any highlights only highlights over the subject I'm looking up or the word that I'm looking up but further on down, I start to focus on actually highlighting the whole verse. I like how that looks. That whole verse looks just so beautiful to me. Started decorating more. 
not all ends of the books of the Bible have this full empty page. So whenever they have a full empty page like that, I kind of want to decorate it. And didn't really do too much besides highlighting, you know, verses again that really stood out to me in the book of Levit Leviticus. I'm in the book of Numbers right now going through this. So there, that's what I've been doing with my Thompson chain. I recently went through and shared what I was doing in my CBP. This is also Church Bible Publishers, Thompson Chain Reference Bible. I do have a review over every Bible that I am sharing here. Um, I'll come back and do another another video sharing the other, other Bibles because I'm not going to have time. But look at this little, I've had this little guy for a long time, like five years. I never knew where to put him. I don't know if he'll stay there, but I just like how he looks because I have so many leaves popping out of this and this camouflage. It just reminds me of like a jungle. So I have my little jungle and my little hand and I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was cute. So I stuck him there. And then my husband gave me this. This came on a card. I think it was a birthday card. Oh, one of my leaves came off. Um, it came off of a birthday card. So I just popped it off and stuck it in my Bible. I'll have to re-glue this leaf or I may just let it sit there and dingle so I did share what I've been doing with this Bible too been highlighting um, adding posty notes and stuff and the same thing with this little guy this is the Skylar Quintel and this is the PSQ so it's the personal size We went on um, our first date of the year, so I just put little tickets and stuff that we've used. This is the table that we were sitting at. This is the restaurant that we were sitting or going to. They're sorry, I can't work around you, it's child. So i done the same with this little guy. Highlighting verses that stick out to me. There is a color code system too. I don't know if I have it in the back of my Bible. Some of these I write the color code in the back of my Bible, which I'm going to start doing that with all of my Bibles, keeping the color code in my actual Bible. But I don't think I did. At the front, I just kept like, what does the star mean? I think right here I'm going to add what each color means. So. I'll be able to know or if I gift this Bible to anybody um, they'll be able to see like okay I know why she highlighted this certain verse this way I did do some in the Psalms just a quick page but okay I will go ahead and do the other Bibles slow down a little bit explain a little bit more this one just is really sharing um the pins i had to share those pins you all but uh, yeah if you let me know below which pins are your favorite i'm always looking for new pins my sisters are always asking me favorite pins favorite highlighters so um yeah go ahead do that below since my phone is giving me a little bit more time i will share the rest of what's in my pin bag here have my highlight my mild highlighters M mild liners there we go we got the mild liner highlighters <laughs> the double end ones and then those truly pins i have them the colors that really stood out to me that i've been really drawn to this year so far those are right here these are my big pins um i don't know the really name of them i just i just like these i've used them for since 2013 these pin gear highlighters she also sent me so they also came from spring and they are the peer gear peer pin gear I was trying to put the P with the yeah pin gear and then they tell you when they're empty so it should like you literally can tell when your highlighter is getting empty so they're real liquidy as you can tell so be careful what Bibles you use and how you use them I've been using these since my other sister sent them to me 
my sister Heather sent me these. Highly, highly recommend these. They're super bright, super bold, and they, they're they true to color. Very, very true to color. My sweet sister Sherry Brown just sent me these two, and they're gold and silver. Like gold, silver, and she sent me a white pen too. She sent the white, all of these really, for the black posty notes. And we use these for our Shine Bible. And the Shine Bible we're calling, well, what we call our Shine Bible, is our Humble Lamb, the Yellow Bible. So this one right down here. We both have the same Bible, so this is our Shine Bible. And Shine is her word of the year. So it just, it was perfectly that this Bible came out this year. So my Pilot G Tex, I always rave about my Pentel. I know this word, but I can never say it. So I never, ever, ever say it. Just my Pentels. My Pentels and my Pilots. These ones I do love. You just got to let them dry a little bit. Um, there we go. There's a the name. Because they do smear. And then I have my Sharpie highlighters. My favorite Sharpie artist pens. These are some more white pens, my Fiber Castells. These are like brushes, so there's a big highlighter. Um, this is the brush. I found these at Walmart. And then I just showed you the new pens I just added. I have my fountain pens. I have the white one and the green one in here. I have to put my purple one back in here. My fountain pens are hanging over the side. And then my Mr. Pen, um, classy pen, is hanging here too. I let my husband use that one whenever he asks for a pen. All my pens confuse him. <laughs> so, all right, you all. Um, so, in the comments below, like I was saying, let me know which is your favorite go-to pen and highlighter. Um, also, let me know what size Bible you enjoy. I do myself like the small compact Bibles and the what they're called personal size Bibles. Next video, I'll go ahead and share what's the difference between the compact, personal size, regular size. I'll explain a little bit more about sizes. So, okay, remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.